was good y'all rich sosa back in the building with another banger man so first things first before we get any further into this i just want to go ahead and say thank you god for giving me this opportunity shout out to y'all the rich gang family and man y'all already know what y'all need to do be sure to hit that sub button if you knew anybody who wants to join the rich gang family rgf be sure to go ahead and turn on post notifications hit that like button and do not forget to drop a comment down below when done now today as y'all can see by the looks of the title and the screen i'm going to be bringing y'all the rare perimeter defender build with a post scoring takeover so First things first to get at it, I just want to go in and say this build is very specific and much different from the ordinary lockdown defender build. So again, if you want to go ahead and make a build, this is going to be the one that you should definitely make, especially if you're looking to make it a unique way. Now, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is put this build under the power forward position. Then when it comes down to everything else on this build, the height, the weight, the wingspan, all of these things are going to play a huge factor when it comes down to using this build. So just be sure to follow along, do as I show y'all, and I promise you, everything is going to work out in your favor so with the height on this build we're not going to be going with six nine or anything under six eight so we're going to be going with six eight exactly as for the weight i'm really liking 210 and then when it comes down to the wingspan this is completely up to y'all but i'm going to go ahead and put this to exactly seven four i feel like that is going to be really balanced and honestly really still going to be very useful when it comes down to the offensive end of this build now if you feel like making any changes go ahead and do so but i'm telling you you are subjected to possibly changing the build name and that is something that i do not want to happen to y'all so when it comes down to the breakdown of these attributes just be sure to follow along key for key as i show y'all and i promise you this build is going to be definitely one that you're going to be surprised about so when it comes down to the finishing side of this build i just want to go ahead and say first when it comes down to it you're actually going to be able to get the pro contact dunks all we need to go ahead and do from here is just make sure that we do adjust the vertical to a 70 in order to maintain that now, pretty much when it comes down to the finishing, we're going to end up with 30 badges. If you want to go ahead and test it to get more, you definitely can do so. Now, let's go ahead and move on into the shooting. So, right here, as you can see, the mid-range shot is actually going to go up to an 82. Three-pointer going to be maxed out at an 80. Then for the free throw, I'm going to go ahead and bring this up to a 75. And for me, I really feel like that is going to be a balanced setup, especially with how this build is looking like so far. Now... Once we go ahead and move on a little bit further, let's go ahead and get into the pass accuracy. So as you can see, I'm going to go with the 74. That's going to be perfect. We still will be able to get silver bullet passer. Then for the ball handle, I'm going to go with an 80 with a 69 speed with the ball. Now remember, we're going to be able to buy boost on this build, which means all of these numbers are going to get at least a plus four. However, if you are running with teammates that do have floor general and or defensive leader, that is an additional plus four to your stats. So plus eight technically, then take into consideration whichever takeovers that you do pick, that is automatically a plus 10 to those areas of this build. So if you pick one for the playmaking, shooting or finishing, it's going to apply to that. And if you pick one for the defensive, it's going to apply to that. So, very specific when it comes down to it, as you can see, on top of this, we're going to end up with 30 finishing badges, 24 shooting, 20 playmaking with 25 defensive, and on top of all that, you're also going to be able to get an extra 9 badges when it comes down to this build. So, for me, if you want to go ahead and change one single thing, I would really go ahead and try out, maybe possibly to put some stats into the interior defense. I really feel like for this build, it's not going to be too important, especially when it comes down to this build name, the Perimeter Defender. Really something that I want to stick to when it comes down to the defensive end. But when it comes down to the offensive, I most definitely did not want to bring y'all something that I would not use myself. So this build honestly looks very good all around, especially when it comes down to the shooting. I would definitely have to say, with the stats that we do have, 
you're going to be able to shoot just as consistent, if not even more, as other shooting builds. Then when it comes down to the finishing, we are able to maintain the contact dunks because we did actually upgrade the vertical to a 70. So again, that is just one small thing to take into consideration. You get a lot out of this build and more so when it comes down to the defensive end is what really is going to bring it all together. So if you made it exactly like I did, I promise you, you are really going to enjoy using this build. So as y'all already saw the badges, let's go ahead and take it a step further. From here, we're gonna go ahead and look into which boost we're gonna be taking from the takeover that we pick. So we do get the shot creating takeover. I love this one personally because you are able to break ankles. Then we get the sharp shooting, very overpowered with a lockdown as well as the post scoring. So the post scoring and the shot creating is what is really gonna make this build that much more unique. However, if you wanna go ahead and really be overpowered I would first go with ankle breaking shots or limitless range takeover but if you wanted to go ahead and pick both of them that is something you can definitely do for me I would keep on the shot creating takeover since we're still going to be able allowed to get that shooting boost that we want and then from here I would really consider putting on one of the lockdown defender takeovers enhanced jump shot contest or even extreme clamps are two badges that I really like when it comes down to these takeovers I'm going to leave that option up to y'all but as you can see we have made the perimeter defender build and i'm telling you i love the comparison of julius randall chris weber and evan mobley all of these are some really nice comparisons when it comes down to this build now what we're going to go ahead and do is just take a small look at what this build is actually going to be looking like once we max it out and get it to 99 overall and add all the boosts that i already said earlier so with the potential of this build on the shooting, you'll be able to get a 99 mid-range as well as a 98 three-pointer, which is essentially a 99. But when it comes down to the defensive end, that block is going to go up to a 99. Same thing for the perimeter defense, steal, and even that defensive rebound. However, if you decided to go with a post-scoring takeover, your finishing stats are going to go crazy. You're going to be able to get a 99 close shot. On top of all that, the standing dunk is going to be 99 with boost, then even the post control, y'all. So honestly, I really feel like I went about making this build very specific when it comes down to what it's going to be able to do. I did not want to bring y'all something again that is not going to be able to be an all around threat so that is why i made this build exactly how i did just to bring it specially to y'all now let's go ahead and get into the breakdown of these badges so when it comes down to the finishing the first one that i'm going to go with is going to be posterizer on gold and i'm going to pair it up also with slithery finisher now for the next 20 badges, this really all comes down to a personal preference. For me, I would really consider Backdown Punisher. Then from there, I'm going to go with Bronze Fearless Finisher just to get the contact layup animations. Then also, you cannot forget about Limitless Takeoff. Now, when it comes down to the next badge, like I said, Backdown Punisher, you cannot forget it. Let's go ahead and move on. So when it comes down to the next 10 badges, this really is where you're going to be able to test the waters for new badges that I would actually try out. So... For me, I'm going to go with Unstrippable on Hall of Fame just to be safe and get a little bit more help when it comes down to driving inside the lane. For the next four, I really like Pro Touch on Gold. If you want to adjust anything from the badge counts, you definitely can do so. But now let's go ahead and take it a step further. We're going to go ahead and get into the shooting. I'm going to go with Blinders on Silver as well as Silver Deadeye and green machine now for the next 15 i'm really liking hot zone hunter then also you definitely want to go ahead and throw on sniper on hall of fame now since we do have six more badges you can really spread the wealth right here as well i would go with clutch shooter on silver same thing for volume and then when it comes down to the next one this comes down to your personal preference. Since I do want to go ahead and throw on quarter specialists at least on silver, what I would do is downgrade clutch shooter one tier and then from there, go ahead and put on quarter specialists on silver. Then from there, everything is going to be set up perfect. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the playmaking. You cannot forget about bullet passer on silver. Very essential badge. Then from there, to help out with the dribbling on this build, I'm going to go with hyperdrive as well as quick first step. Now, just a key reminder when it comes down to the playmaking on this specific build you really got to go ahead and utilize your badges as well as spread the wealth with making sure you're putting on the correct badges that are going to help you out when it comes down to the dribbling let's go ahead and move on to the defensive side now so as you can see when it comes down to here i'm going to go with first gold rim protector 
silver clamps, as well as gold intimidator. Now remember, on top of all this, if you decided to go ahead and throw on those extra nine badges to the defensive area, that's just gonna make this build all the better. Gonna be in the 30s when it comes down to it. From here, I'm gonna go with pickpocket on silver, or you can go ahead and change it up, but you definitely wanna go ahead and put on chase down artist paired up with rebound chaser. That is gonna be an essential setup. Then from here, I really like to run tireless defender. And for the very last one, I'm gonna go with pickpocket on bronze. And this is a setup that I would be running on this build. We get 25 defensive badges, 20 playmaking, 24 shooting with 30 finishing. Again, if y'all made it to the end, just know that I appreciate y'all. I love y'all and I thank y'all. I really mean that with all of my heart. Thank you, God, for giving me this opportunity. And man, y'all already know what y'all need to do. Be sure to hit that sub button if you're new. Anybody who wants to join the Rich Gang family, be sure to go ahead and turn on post notifications. Hit that like button and drop a comment down below when complete. I just want you to know again, I really appreciate y'all with all my heart. Continue to come through and just know that I'm going to be here for you. So man, with all that being said, I got one last thing to say. Rich out.